So you want to go green and get solar for your house. Is Tesla roof right for you? This will be a multi-part series from my experience with ordering Tesla solar roof. Now this is solar roof and not solar panels. This is the new roof offer Tesla has that has those solar tiles in place of various types of shingles you commonly find on houses these days. Tesla recently came out with their solar roofing tiles ver version 3, which addresses many issues previous versions had, including this coloration from different angles, which make your house look really odd. So in theory, V3 is good stuff. The reason we've decided to get it is that our roof is on the older side, and there's currently a 26% federal tax credit towards solar, which will be decreased every year and probably eventually phased out. Plus, several years ago, I got a comprehensive estimate from Home Depot. Comprehensive in the sense that they came out to the house and took detailed measurements of the house, even took tons of photos. The estimate we got turned out to be $17,000. That's with a $3,000 promotion from the original estimate of around $20,000. So that's going to be my baseline. And for reference, the roof is 2,800 square feet, and their estimate says they will replace it with Timberline HG shingles. With a 10-year warranty, I'm no roofer, but I believe Timberline HG is asphalt shingles, and asphalt shingles are among the cheapest materials they can use. So back to Tesla. I went on the website and clicked over to the solar roof section. I clicked on order now and entered in my information, including my current electricity usage, which wasn't much. Looking at our electricity bill, one of the most recent months our usage was around 248 kilowatt hours, which is considered more than typical for my small family, given that at that point we just started working from home with all the sheltering in place. But by and large, it's still low compared to most families. I mean, it's not like we have electric heaters or whatnot. You know, air conditioning is one of the highest electricity sucking things you can do in your house. So I was thinking to myself, perhaps given a low electricity usage, perhaps getting a solar anything, roof or panels, doesn't make much sense. But then again, we're getting a roof. Surprisingly, the quote I got was around $19,000. Pre-incentives and after incentives, it was around 16,000. They recommended a four kilowatt system or so, which is on the low end, given my relatively low usage, of course. Now, I didn't choose to get a power wall. Usually people get a couple of these to go completely off grid. I didn't really care to go off grid. Plus power walls cost thousands of dollars each. So I didn't buy one. Although it's worth noting, that the self-generation incentive program which PG&E offers uh, will give you some subsidies for that. But I contacted them and I believe the funds have run out and I'll be on the waiting list should I get power walls. It's too much hassle. Anyways, without power walls, getting a roughly four kilowatt system at $16,000, that's even lower than the cheap asphalt roof Home Depot quoted me. And Tesla Roof has a 25-year warranty compared to the 10 for Home Depot. So, sign me up. Not so fast. It has a $100 non-refundable order fee. And I think at some point, if you hover the text here, it says something along the lines of, if you feel strongly about it, they'll still refund you, which made it more confusing. In fact, I know another case where someone I know ordered the solar roof uh, for a property also near my house, and Tesla ended up telling them they cannot do their roof because of the lack of sun. You know, lack of sun in California, because there are some coastal cities that are actually foggy. It wasn't my friend's fault, but she had a hard time getting the $100 back. Apparently she called multiple times and they said they'll refund her, but the money never came. I don't actually know what ended up happening, but I end up biting the bullet. So I waited, and after a couple of weeks, they finally responded, and I was eligible. But wait, what's this? The new price they quoted me is $25,997. That's roughly $6,000 more than what they originally quoted me for a relatively same 3.9 kilowatt system. So lesson learned. Whatever they quoted you initially, don't believe it. So I called them and asked what that was about. 
The representative was very friendly and told me the extra charge was what's called alternative roof. I've never heard that term, but it was explained to me that their initial estimate was based on some preliminary calculations of the area, and upon closer inspection, there's an extra 1,000 square feet that they have to cover. Fair explanation. I mean, the type of roof I have does have areas that have a good slope, so that'd be hard to account for. But I didn't like the somewhat arbitrary jacking up of the price. $6,000 is significant, and ate up all the federal incentives, and then some. And speaking of incentives, it's currently 26% in 2020, and for new solar roofs, it's only the solar portion. Given a solar roof install consists of roofing tiles with solar capabilities and tiles that are just dummies, the estimated federal credit was only slightly less than $3,000, as opposed to 26% off the whole amount. The representative also told me that I have three days to cancel my order normally, but given the COVID situation, they allow me to waive beyond three days. This is because once I accept the latest proposal, They'll go get the permit from the city, and at that point, they may discover significant hidden fees, like if they need to dig a trench for electricity conduit. But this is supposedly rare. Looking at the more detailed proposal, it does detail the placement of the solar roof panels versus the dummy solar panels that are just for looks. Given we're in the northern hemisphere, more actual solar towers are on the south side, which is what I expected. And also, in the set of document, there's one that says Tesla doesn't do gutters, and then here's a recommended uh, gutter contractor. So it wasn't clear to me if they're going to remove my gutter, put in, well, it seems like they're not going to put in new gutters. So after giving it some thoughts, I mean, 22000 ish for a new roof with solar capabilities, in theory, saving a conservative $100 a month and, and $1,200 a year. Compare the difference with Home Depot estimate will make our money back within four years. And given in theory better materials than asphalt with a better warranty, it's still a good investment. Oh, and a word on pricing with electricity company. For me, it's PG&E. And once you go solar, you're forced to join the time of use plan, which I thought was shady. Pardon the pun. What that means is electricity costs different at different times of day. That means there's peak hours and off-peak hours. Similarly, electricity you generate with solar will also cost different. Therein lies the problem. Most of the morning and afternoon, when the sun is out, is considered off-peak. So most of the day when you're generating electricity is cheap electricity. Put another way, it doesn't offset the electricity you'll use later in the day. I feel scammed in a way, but I did some research by good people on the internet and this delays the break-even time by several months. So, we'll see. So after all that analysis I ordered, surprisingly I wasn't able to get my roof done as soon as the same month. Not two months, but almost four months out. So at this time, I'm still waiting, and I'll be sure to put in more updates during the installation and after the installation. What I was told to anticipate is, on the first day of installation, I'll have to be present. I mean, I did have to give them 50% up front. Then, They'll start working on my roof with a dumpster in the driveway. Once they're done, there'll be a brief power outage for like an hour. Then a week later, there's the inspector from the city. And two to three weeks beyond that, they'll submit the paperwork with pg and &E until finally getting hooked up with solar. So like I said, I'll update y'all to see if it all goes as promised. And most importantly, if this review was helpful at all so far, Please consider using my Tesla affiliate link below to order your Tesla items. And also, be sure to subscribe for no other reason than this is YouTube and this is what people have to say. Thanks. See you on the next one.